Hi guys, so I just got done doing some big time cleaning in the van. Um, the tote is gone. They had all the stuff from my mom, so I actually have room to move. It's so awesome. Um, let's see, it's about 85 in here right now, which is okay. Um, I'm just getting ready to go back in. My mom, um, I'm parked out at my mom's right now because I come to see her for Mother's Day and she says are you okay? Well, of course mom I'm okay but I appreciate that she was just checking so this is the layout my bed I got a breeze there there's Miss Daisy she's got a breeze the windows are finally clean yeah I can probably see out the windows now it was actually making a very dangerous drive so um now when I go into stealth mode, uh, there we go. Um, I won't look quite so ghetto, at least from the inside's point of view. And as we head out, look, it's clean. All right, so this is the big beast. Um, it's a 95 Chevy van G20. Um, as you can see, it does look like a ghetto mobile a little bit, but that's okay. Um, she's still a work in progress, guys, but she's lived in, um, she gets me from A to B. Isn't that what the importance of, um, van dwelling is? My husband had to replace the screen here, which is fine. At least I got a screen and it keeps the bugs out. So, anyways... In the back here, it's my clothes hanging up. Um, I got a propane tank down here for like grilling and stuff and the grill thing is there. So this is actually to kind of keep my clothes from getting dirty. And then here is a box, which the towels that were you saw on the floor have to go back in here. I'll probably get my tons machine to my mom because I can't use it right now. I don't have any pads anyways. And I don't have an address to have pads sent to, so she might as well use it. In here is like my bathroom stuff. Um, Furminator dog shampoo and conditioner for Daisy. Oh, oh good. I needed this. I actually was literally out. Um, her Furminator pain medicine, bug spray, dental picks, um, just your bathroom stuff. Um, she itches a lot, so there's some veterinary shampoo, it's really good for dogs, it doesn't have the dye or anything like that, so that's good. Um, oatmeal shampoo, um, just in case we ever go to like a park or something where she gets muddy. Um, Daisy gets Stervite dog stones. So, every once in a while we have to collect her pee and we have to test it. And we, this is what we use to test her pH level. Um, just to make sure we give her, um, I give Daisy cranberry pills every day. I give her one pill a day. It seems to be helping. And my baby. And my girl. That mommy's medicine. Mommy don't have to go to the store and buy that now. Yay. So anyways, here's my Renogy charge controller. As you can see, I'm getting pretty good ampage. Um, I do have hookup for ground if I, you know, land power if I need it. Um, all this was done by my husband, David. So don't ask me any questions about it. Um, all I'm gonna say is if you got questions, all I can do is forward it on to David. Um, here's my battery hookup. I know it's really messy looking. Let's see here. That's because I have an extension cord that's kind of laying right here. He's got all sorts of stuff hooked into this we've got this controller hooked into it this thing which is hooked up there's another one up by the battery um this way if i'm not getting enough from my solar i can charge my two batteries which i don't know if you can see that got two trojan deep cycle i think they're t2 let's we'll see T105 deep cycle, six volt batteries. There you go. 
Those, so that's what I got. And I put them in this little pink container. Um, and then I got the black one over here, which has my propane tank in it. Underneath the bed is like the grill. Um, here's stuff to wash dishes if I decide to have to do big time dishes, an extra blanket. Um, let's see here. That's my work bag for when I'm actually working. Even though right now I'm not working, I'm actually taking some time off. So, as you can see, um, I got the solar panel on top. It's a 255 watt solar panel. I only have the one, but it seems to do what I need it to. And then I've got my fan on top. Um, my husband is going to have to replace the switch on it because my first, because there's speeds, one, two, three. My first speed is out. It's running as two. Um, so he called, contacted the company and they're going to set in another one. Um, I'm going to try to clean these seats, see if I can get any cleaner, you know, more like this. But um, that one has a lot of... Um, burn marks in it somebody was smoking in the passenger side so I did clean this up a little bit today um, hey if anybody has any ideas on how to get I know a lot of some of this is dirt but there's a lot of mold and mildew around the edges because nobody took care of the van first <coughs> so um, if you know how to get rid of that stuff let me know so I can take care of it because I don't want to have to replace that trim if I don't have to it's not just the cost I hate replacing any original parts that don't need to be replaced. Um, we are going to get new tread as soon as, as you can see, there's work be still being done on this thing. Um, oh, I was going to show you the inside, guys. Hi, how are you? Good. All right. These people are probably thinking I'm crazy. All right. So, my husband put little dents on the top of the hood when he was working on it all right so bear with me guys all right so here's the other part that i was telling you about that went to the back to the battery um this part here and i know this insulation thingy they all runs to my main battery so if i'm not getting enough sun to charge my batteries in the back for my solar power then all I gotta do is start my van five minutes or so and it starts up my batteries, keeps them going. Um, so, uno momento. Woo. So, anyways, that's kind of my van setup. Um, the front, just like a normal van, except for the fact that I've got my trash can. It, in the front and then um, yeah so this is pretty much my setup here um, it's a compromise between me and my husband and trust me there was disagreements on it but I got a TV and a VCR in here um, it is a 32 inch TV that I bought like a long time ago um, I got all sorts of stuff under here. I actually have a lot of room. You know, like my, I got clothes here, behind here. I got another bucket that's got clothes. I got dog food, a bucket for emergency uses only. You know, if you gotta go number two, you need something to go into. Um, our safe for our, the important documents, my cleaning supplies. I got like dress shoes and stuff like that. Cause you know, just cause you live in a van don't mean you don't get fancy sometimes ladies movies stuff like that this is my fridge I don't know why it's like really dark all of a sudden ah there it goes sorry guys I don't know where what I bumped so it's my fridge um yes I'm a Wonder Woman fan my grandmother died of breast cancer so I always have a pink ribbon and I love my dog so here's from uh cancer relay for life um U of M fan i born and raised in Michigan and so Here's our fridge. Ouch. Um, so, I don't have anything in the fridge right now because I just literally had to clean it out. 
Dave had put some milk in here and he put it in sideways and the lid wasn't on all the way and so unfortunately I had stinky smelling milk in the bottom and it still stinks a little bit but I did get it cleaned out. What I did was I put some Arm & Hammer baking soda in the bottom to absorb it and kind of help get rid of some of that stuff. So, you know, you got dress shoes and jewelry, all that girly stuff. Um, I am addicted to collecting notebooks and stuff like that, so those are on the very bottom. Um, I got movies in the second one for my DVD player if I ever decide to play it. And my clothes and dog food. Woo. So, um, in this, con this one here in the top, here's all my medicines and bathroom stuff. Um, my dishes and some food. Not that I keep a lot, you know, just some basic stuff in case I'm ever in need. And this is just little odds and ends, cleaning stuff. Um, you never know when you're gonna need flea and tick spray. Of course, my alcohol, because I do drink. My salt, pepper, garlic salt. You always need a shaker bottle, guys. I don't care if you don't do protein mixes or not. Um, oh, Daisy, what else do we got? We got a shelf here my husband built. Right now it's got her bark collar, so when I'm leaving her by herself in here, um, she can't bark. Right now her actual leash is on her because we're getting ready to go back to my mom's. Here's her rope. That's about the only toy she's got. Um, I do have a light because whenever we were doing our restoration or build on my van, um, somehow the lights went out. So if I need a light at night, I have a light up here on the shelf. Um, until I started cleaning, I did have paper towels and stuff like that up there, but I got, like, my laundry stuff, and, okay, I'm a girl. I can't get rid of this stuff. I mean, I am a sentimental person, so, um, and I don't have a lot in my storage. You would think I do, but I don't. Most of it's actually up here. Yes, I still have CDs, um, and, like, the first aid kit and all that is back there. Um, which I actually did get out the first aid kit today. I got a boo-boo, which is all nasty and stuff now, but, uh, let's see. And I got more storage up in here. I got a lunchbox. Here's another light, which I'm going to go get batteries for. So, this is my van build. Um, my paper towel holder, it's kind of unique because the person that made it, for me isn't alive anymore. My great grandfather made that for me um, before he died. My mom has one just like it, just a different color. I've had this thing for years, a couple decades, at least 20, 20 some years. Um, I have my faith cross here, some hats, and again, I'm a Wonder Woman fan, so I got my Wonder Woman stuff card for my husband for Valentine's Day. We're not always camp together, so that's just to remind me that he loves me. And that black thing hanging is actually just a business card holder, but it's really cool because I can hang my light from it. And, um, you know, so when I'm, you know, I just need light or whatever, usually I just hang the light from it. But if I want, I could just be listening to music or something off my phone. I could just, you know, move it to a different part on this wood which actually has a light on it, but we use it just to kind of hide the wires here. Um, I mean, it's a lot cleaner than it was, because if you had seen this thing, you would have known that it was a mess. I mean, it was a big time mess, so I'm actually pretty happy with it right now, the way that it is. Um, so, anyways, guys, that's my day four for actually being on the road out of Florida, living in the van with my dog. And even though I'm at my mom's, I'm still sleeping in her parking lot because I'm not sleeping inside. Um, my brother's a pain in the butt. It's technically his apartment, but she lives with him. So I hope you guys have a pleasant, woo! <laughs> I hope you have a pleasant day. 
I'm a mess. I've had to do a lot of cleaning in the van because it really was bad. Um, lots of mildew and stuff on here. But I hope I see you out on the road sometime. Um, so enjoy your day. Enjoy your Saturday. It's kind of cloudy here in Columbus. It's actually really nice for Ohio. So you enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Mother's Day weekend with my mom. Have a good day.